When you type youtube.com and hit enter in your browser, have you ever wondered how that domain name quickly turns into an IP address? In this animated video, I'll take you through the behind the scenes process. First, the browser checks its own cache, then the operating system's cache, and finally the host's file to see if it already has the IP address for youtube.com. If it finds it, the browser will use that address to access YouTube directly. If not, the browser will send a request to the DNS resolver provided by your internet service provider, or ISP. Next, the DNS resolver asks the root name server for the address of the top-level domain server responsible for .com. After that, the DNS resolver makes a request to the top-level domain server to obtain the authoritative name server address for YouTube.com. Finally, the DNS resolver requests and receives the IP address for YouTube.com from the authoritative name server. Once the browser obtains the IP address, it can use it to connect to YouTube's web server and start loading the page. It's important to note that in real-life situations, each level of DNS server usually catches the IP addresses of frequently used domains. What I've shown here is a complete DNS resolution process without any catched addresses. This is the full DNS resolution process that translates user-friendly domain names into computer-recognizable IP addresses, helping you access websites smoothly.